Ready in less than 30 minutes, the simple recipe for Instant Pot Macaroni and Cheese is sure to become a family favorite. Hi everyone, Kristen here. As someone who suffers from a chronic disease, I believe homemade is best, but it doesn't need to be complicated. Today I am resharing with you a favorite recipe for mac and cheese. This is my daughter's all time favorite recipe and it's a fan favorite and the video was a little bit, well, subpar. So it was high time that I made another video so that you guys can enjoy the best mac and cheese ever. It's an incredibly simple recipe, but I have a few tips that will set this above the rest. So let's get cooking. To start this recipe, we're gonna pour in four cups of low sodium vegetable or chicken broth into our inner pot. Now we wanna season up our broth here and to do so, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of paprika. To that, I'm gonna add in my elbow noodles. I have 16 ounces or four cups of elbow noodles. You can use whole wheat or white noodles. Today, I have white noodles. I ordered whole wheat, but with grocery orders the way they are, I get what I get. And then you just wanna use a spoon and slightly push down on the noodles just so that they're submerged in the liquid. We want them to all cook up evenly and not become dried out or hard. That's it for the first step. We're gonna pop our lid on our Instant Pot. Make sure your vent knob is pointed towards sealed. And then to cook our pasta, I have a perfect ratio for cooking elbow noodles. You're gonna cook for three minutes on high pressure, hit manual or pressure cook, and then you wanna adjust the time until it reads three. After the cooking time has elapsed, you wanna wait exactly five minutes, and that will ensure your pasta is perfectly al dente. It's not undercooked, it's not overcooked, it's perfect. Now the secret to perfect macaroni and cheese is to grate the cheese yourself. That will ensure that the cheese melts evenly into your macaroni and you won't have stringy or lumpy mac and cheese. Mm. Bagged cheese is coated in anti-caking agents and so that prevents it from melting evenly. When you grate it yourself, you often save money and your results will be phenomenal. It does take a couple extra minutes to grate the cheese yourself, but the results are so worth it and you can do that while your noodles are cooking in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna use a box grater. You could use a food processor fitted with a grating blade to make quick work of it. And then you just wanna grate about two cups of cheddar cheese, one cup of Swiss cheese, and a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. You could use white sharp cheddar cheese, yellow sharp cheddar. You could even use Colby Jack if that's what you have on hand. Really doesn't matter. Okay, the cooking time has elapsed. And now pressure has been released for exactly five minutes, which means we need to do a quick release of pressure. To do so, you wanna stand back from your venting knob so you don't get burned. And then you wanna use a long spoon of some sort, and you wanna knock your sealing knob to the venting position. It'll take a minute for all the pressure to be released. And then once it is, you wanna open up the Instant Pot. We're gonna stir our noodles here just to separate them. And then we wanna pour in a quarter cup of milk. Give that a nice stir. And then we're gonna add our cheese a handful at a time. You wanna add in a total of two cups of cheddar, one cup of Swiss, and a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Just stir after each handful of cheese, just so that you can melt that cheese into your noodles. And if you notice things are looking a little thick, you can add in an additional quarter cup of milk if needed. That's looking good, but I have one final ingredient that's going to take the mac and cheese over the top, sour cream. Sounds crazy, but oh my goodness, it's going to add a nice tang and cut the richness of the cheese and just make it super, super creamy. So I'm adding in a half a cup of sour cream today. Then I'm just gonna give that a stir. Looks amazing. I'm gonna dish this out. All right, I'm gonna go in for a bite here. 
Ooh. Wow, so creamy, so cheesy, and we didn't even add butter. The sour cream really does balance out the mac and cheese, and you can get a little bit of the sharpness of the Swiss, but just really gives it a nice flavor pro profile and makes it feel fancy. But it couldn't have been easier to make. I'm telling you, this is a favorite. And for another family favorite pasta recipe you can make in your Instant Pot, be sure to catch my next video where I show you how to make Instant Pot ziti. Until then, happy cooking.